Hi everybody, Nancy here. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add a desktop background. And unfortunately, my example is more of a picnic table than a desktop because I don't have an image that looks like a desktop. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to show you how to recreate this, all right? And there's two ways to do it. You can do it to the, a brand new planner, and I'm going to show you that first. Or you can do it to an existing planner, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But to create a whole new document or planner, go out of the this current level and go to the documents level. On the top left, you've got the plus sign, create document, and do custom. And right now, at the top, the preview... Where under the create, the preview is the last planner that I created. And since this is not about how to create a, a planner, I'm not going to go there. But um, it also, see, it, it opened up to the middle of this scrolling uh, options page or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. But what we're looking for is the padding. And I don't know what it's normally set at because I've changed it so many times. And it saves the last thing you did. So just know that you want to make it between, I don't know, 40 and 50. That's up to you. And now I'm just going to hit create. And that will create my planner. It creates all the different layers automatically. Now I want to go ahead and create a whole new master layer because what we're doing here needs to go on a master layer and it's just easier if you have a a, a brand new one so i'm going to do a plus oh let me show you what i did i clicked on master layers at the very top of this little pull down menu and then i'm going to do a plus to create a new master then go back now when it created that master it put it at the top so i'm going to move it I'm going to go to the manage and take this, the three lines on the right, uh, and pull the masters down below the tabs. All right, do done. And that's the one we're going to be working on. Master, and I'm going to unlock it and make it current. Now, you could rename it if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave it alone. And I'm going to hide all. Okay. Now, and do done. First thing you want to do, now that you've done that, we're on the master. We're going to draw a polygon the size of the square that is the calendar. And make sure you do it exact. We want to make it this blue color and go ahead and put it full opacity and be done with that all right so now we've got the polygon the size of the planner now I'm going to pull in my image of my tabletop and I'm going to go um, I've saved it on my symbol sorry I'm thinking and talking at the same time it never works I'm going to select the desktop and and Paste it down, and then I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go ahead and stretch that. It's easier if you start on the right, make it the size you need it, and stretch it then to the left. All right, now I'm going to send that to the back. Uh, let me go ahead and say this here. There may be a better way. But this is the way I know how. The way I don't, you need to understand that I learn by doing and trying, and I try it all different ways. I, everything I do, because I don't go out on the web looking for videos for it. Don't know why, probably stupid not to. But um, I go ahead and try to figure things out myself. And then I try to share with you the easiest that I've found. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I need to get my selection menu under the gear and move that desk, quote unquote, 
to the back. All right. Now you're going to start putting the stuff that you want on the desk, which is, I've, like I said, I've already moved everything onto the symbols. And just stamp it down, and we'll move it around in a minute. Now, my menu keeps popping back because I have set it so that I stamp one symbol at a time. Um, see, it'll pop back, and now I've got to select the symbol again. And let's see, I'm going to put the tax on there. And you're going to need to have all this stuff yourself. You know, either purchased it from somebody or taken pictures of, of stuff. And I'm going to angle this. Put it over here in the corner. I'm going to take this picture and make it turn a little bit. Make it a little larger. Put it over here in the corner. And now, I want all that stuff to, to appear to be behind the planner. So I need to move the polygon back up to the top move to top let's see move to front all right unselect it and this is the way your desk is going to look now I'm going to click on the grab and I'm going to put my pen down on the middle get the copy and now, um, I think now would be a good time to go ahead and delete. I'm, I'm going to delete what's already there because even though I'm going to cover it up, it's just, everything slows down. The more images you have, the more likely you're going to have issues with um, Zoom notes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. I promise this will all make sense in a minute. Now I'm going to paste. Oops, sorry, I jumped to another page. I'm getting my menu. I've got to have the select tool, sorry. And then just do paste as image. You we need this to be an image and i'll show you why we we need to go to the transparency tool and you couldn't do that if it wasn't an image so click there then we're just going to fill the blue line i mean the the blue box do save and now we've got our background created and again it's still easier to do it this way just stretch it until it fills the the space and see now <laughs> now I'll go back I just love it when it works um, go back here and do I'm gonna do show all just because it's faster but obviously you're not gonna have all the month well let me go ahead and kill some of it I don't remember if this was a monthly page or a weekly page, but I'm going to kill some of these there. Okay. Done. And there you have it. Now, I need to, I'm still on the master. I need to lock it up. Um, I have to change to a different current, make something else current. Lock it back. Then I'm going to actually go up to the one, make it current. And lock the tabs back do done and now every page I go to is going to have that background okay can you see that it's changing ta-da that's all you have to do all right now let me show you how to do it if if you come in with an existing document or planner then you would use this over on the right, This, um, the menu here, the little gear on the right. And see, it also has padding. So you would change it here and do the same thing I just showed you. Okay, that's it. That's all. I'm done. 
Y'all have a good day. Bye.